हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस टेडा फॉर्म सिनेरियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सीरीज माय नेम इज आलोक एंड टुडे आई कम विथ अ न्यू सिनेरियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस ऑन द टेडा फॉर्म यू वांट टू डिप्लॉय अ टेडा फॉर्म कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस दैट क्रिएट्स एन ईसी टू इंस्टेंस इन अ स्पेसिफिक अवेलेबिलिटी जोन बट यू आर नॉट श्योर विच अवेलेबिलिटी जोन टू यूज हाउ कैन यू डायनामिकली सेलेक्ट एन अवेलेबिलिटी जोन एट रन टाइम इन टेडा फॉर्म्स so if you know that which availability zone to use at the time of creations of the instance you can define um, that particular availability zones or you can define in a variable and use uh, uh, under the availability zones parameters when while creating the aws instance but you have to dynamically select it so in the case of uh, dynamically selections you have to identify which availability zones in a particular region is available okay so in terraform you can use the data resources to retrieve informations about the availability zones in your aws region whichever you are using whichever aws region you are using you have to use the data resources to retrieve data informations then use the random provider to select a random availability zones from the list okay let's see the steps we can take uh, to dynamically select an availability zones at the run time in the terraform okay so the first steps we can say that we need to retrieve the informations about the availability zones for that we are going to use the data resources and this will retrieve informations about the availability zone in your specific uh, aws regions so you can use the terraform configurations okay to list all the available availability zones okay so for this you have to write the data okay this is the data resources for the aws availability zones and available with a blank okay this will list you all the available availability zones okay so this configurations will retrieves a list of all the availability zones in your aws region now it's time to select the random availability zones using the random provider to select a random availability zones from the list retrieve in this particular steps suppose this is the step 1 then you have to retrieve from the step 1 for example you can use the following configurations this one to retrieve the following configurations to select the random availability zones you can define the resources and you can use the local variable as a ajs for the random shuffle and here you can see that we are picking from the random from the data dot availability zones which is defined here okay and then available this is the local name and then the names it will list all the names of the availability zones okay once you perform this you have to store it in a variables this one okay so uh, you can define a variable where you are taking from the random shuffle dot ajs and the result zero whatever is coming first you have to store it okay so this configuration is used uh, the random shuffle provided to shuffle the list of available zones retrieve from the steps 1 okay and then select the first item in the shuffled list as a randomly selected availability zone now you have to use the selected availability zone in your terraform configurations where you you are going to create the aws instance okay so you need to modify your terraform configurations to use the selected availability zones okay whatever the name you provided like ag here it will have the informations about the which uh, availability zone to use for a particular um, reason okay for example you can modify your terraform configurations to create the ec2 instance in the randomly selected availability zones uh, this is the example okay so you can see that the resources we are using the resources aws instance and this is the local name for, like, we are using example here we are providing the ami which is coming from the variable okay and this uh, already you know that we define the ami id either it's coming uh, for a dynamically or you are doing the hard coded okay if you didn't uh, know about the dynamically um, uh, association of the ami id for a particular reason then you can refer my uh, terraform playlist on that 
instance type we can uh, again I'm taking from the variable key name from the variable subnet id from the variable associated public ip address yes we are we want to use it that's why we put a flag of true and the availability zone now it's coming from the it coming coming from the variable which is taking the first uh, item from the list dynamically okay so the availability zones parameters these parameters okay is set to the value of the ag variable watch whatever it's get assigned okay which is dynamically selected at the runtime using the random provider okay random shuffle and by following these all steps you can dynamically select the availability zone at runtime in terraform which makes your terraform configuration more flexible and also adaptable to changing the requirements if it's coming in the future so this uh, solves this particular uh, interview questions on the data of forms that how can we select uh, the availability zone dynamically for a particular reason. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as well. This always motivated me. Okay. Thanks. Have a nice day.